let's discuss here about the inequations. Now the chapter name is inequation. Inequation means something which is not the equation. Let me discuss first about the difference between equation and inequation. Equation and inequation. Equation means equating the two algebraic quantities and equation means inequation means equating the two quantities. Now here we discuss about only about the algebraic inequations in this video. So if let me come let me take the let me take the algebraic example x plus 2 is greater than x plus 2 is equal to 3 it means x is equal to 1 this is the example of equation that means there is a sign of equation here there is a sign of equation here now i got the value x equal to 1 right here the, i got the answer as unique solution most of the time we get the answer as a unique solution in equations now if i compare with the inequation an equation means something different from the equation or something up other than the equation equal to sign. That means if I say x plus 2 greater than 3, this is an equation. Or I can say x plus 2 less than 3 or x plus 2 greater than equal to 3 or x plus 2 less than 1. This is all are the inequations. Now if I solve this inequation x plus 2 greater than 3, the answer is x is greater than 1. So here is not the unique answer. Here it says an equation x is greater than means it means it gives the range of solutions here the unique solution range of the solution it means all those the value greater than 1 are the solution of this inequation right next this was the difference now let me explain you let me take the value a here let me take the value b and let me take the value m i am taking this three all quantity positive quantity a b m i am assuming the positive quantities First thing let me assume A is greater than B. Right? Now if I add this M positive quantity what the side this sign of inequality will not change. This sign of inequality will not change. Now if I say if I subtract again the inequality sign will not change. If I multiply again the same sign if I multiply it with the quantity m again the sign will not change if i divide it again the sign will not change if i make this power or raised to power a raised to power m is greater than b raised to power m. again the sign will not change that means if 4 is greater than 3 then 4 square is also greater than 3 square for example if 4 is greater than 3 then 4 square is also greater than 3 square right and similarly, I can say a raised to power 1 by m, that is mth root of a is greater than mth root of b. That means if 4 is greater than 3, then square root of 4 is also greater than square root of 3, for example. So this, in all the situations over here, sign of the inequality is not changed. If a is greater than b, then if you apply all this operation, then equality of the inequality sign will not change it remain as it is now when the sign will change there are the few cases in which the sign sign will change if i say minus a is less than minus b. here the sign is changed right sign is changed now if i take the value here second case if i say 1 upon a is less than 1 upon b again here the sign is changed while the sign is changed here if you want to understand this this means a raised to power minus 1 is less than b raised to power minus 1. This due to this negative sign, this here the sign is changed. And I can say similarly a raised to power minus k is less than b raised to power minus a raised to power minus m is less than b raised to power minus m where m is a positive. And similarly minus k a is less. So came to the conclusion that whenever I use the negative sign, my inequation sign is changed. Now make the rule whenever you work with the positive thing sign will not change whenever you work with the negative sign sign will change that is greater than become less than and less than become greater than that means vice versa it the operation will be done now this whole thing now if i came to the fractions if i came to the fractions a upon b is a quantity right now if i add the same quantity m in the numerator say it comes am plus m upon b now 
which quantity is bigger so if i add this m quantity in the numerator then this quantity is big, right if i subtract this m from the numerator then this quantity becomes smaller this was the part of the numerator what about the denominator if i check in the denominator a upon b plus m if i'm increasing the denominator obviously if i increase denominator the value will decrease the initial value is more right if i decrease the denominator obviously value will increase these are the cases in the these are the cases right of the fractions now let me give you a problem what what when a plus m upon b plus m can you comment about this a plus m upon b plus m with the relationship with the a upon b think for a while now let me tell you now this case the, this relationship between these two quantities decided whether the, the fraction is proper or improper proper or improper let me discuss if in the proper case the proper case a plus m upon b plus m is greater than a by b and in case of improper case proper fraction a plus m upon b plus m is less than a upon b now let me give you the example you might be be confusing about the proper and proper fraction let me clear it proper fraction means in which the numerator is smaller than denominator and improper fraction means numerator is more than denominator for example if i take the example of proper fraction here 1 upon 2 is a proper numerator is less than denominator let me add 1 in this it become 2 by 3 now let me add again 1 to numerator as well as denominator to become 3 by 4 if i add 1 again it become 5 by 6 and so on right 1 by 2 means 0 0.5, 2 by 3 means 0 0.66, 3 by 4 means 0 0.75 and 5 by 6 means 0 0.83. I can clearly see this. The ratio is increasing. That means in the proper fraction if I add same quantity numerator denominator the fraction will increase. This is the example if I am adding the one the numerator as well as denominator and the fraction is increasing. Let's do the another example for the improper fractions. Let me take the example 3 upon 2. Numerator is more than denominator. Let me add again 1, it becomes 4 by 3. Let me add again 1, it becomes 4 by 5 by 4, then 6 upon 2. Right? Now this is the sequence and so on. Now value of 3 upon 2 is 1.5, 4 by 3 is 1.33, 5 by 4 is 1.25, and 6 by 5 is 1.2. I am clearly see, see the value is decreasing. Right? So it means for the improper fraction, if I add the same quantity in the numerator as well as denominator, the value will decrease. Right? Now think about the if I subtract the positive quantity from the numerator as well as denominator in the proper as well as the improper fractions. Think about that also. Obviously, things will reverse if I use the negative sign here. Right? The things will be totally reversed. Now, third thing I am discussing in this video about the modulus sign. Inequality in which the modulus exists. Modulus means I am talking about this type of equation. If this type of equation this says mod x is less than 3, I am giving the example. It means if x is greater than 0, it will open as x is less than 3. If x is less than, than 0, it will open as minus x is less than 3 and x is greater than minus 3. Right? So this two case leads that x is between 3 and minus. Right? So in generally, what we do in the modulus thing, mod x is given as less than 3. So we likely open as is less than 3. We put the sign same here, 3. And again the sign sign here and put the negative value of this. This is the solution for mod x is less than. So it says x is less between 3 and minus 3. What if x is greater than sign? Then again, we use the same process as we did. Now, sign we like this, x is greater than 3 and x is less than minus 3. This would be the solution. Right? Now, what if the solution when x plus 2 is less than 3? Now, here it open less, x plus 2 is less than 3 and minus 3. In a similar way as we did in here. Now, let's solve this, x plus 2 is less than 3 and x plus 2 is greater than minus 3. Now, x is, take the 2 here, it become x is less than 1. Here is again, transforming the 2 here. Minus 3, minus 2 is minus 5. X is between minus 5 and Now, how to write the solution of this case? X is between minus 5 and 1. You, we write the solution like this. X, this means belongs to, use the 
bracket sign minus by 2 1. Now, we use this small brackets. It says that the, the value does not include, include this value. That means the solution minus 5 and 1 is not included. Rest, all the values between minus 5 and 1 are included. We write in this way. Similarly, if I solve the problem for x plus 2 greater than 3, the solution would be x plus 2 is greater than 3 and x plus 2 is less than minus. Solution gives x is greater than 1 and x is less than minus 5. Now, we write the solution as x belongs to all the value less than minus 5. That is, it start from the minus infinity to minus 5. Union means taking the other value also. Start from 1 and end up to infinity. This is the way to write the solution. Now, one more thing. x is minus 2 is greater than equal to 3. Now, how to write the solution? x minus 2 is greater than equal to 3 means x is minus 2 is greater than equal to 3 and x minus 2 is less than equal to minus. We open in that way. First thing says x is greater than equal to 5 and next thing says x is less than equal to minus 5. Now here is equal to sign. Why I am telling equal to sign because to how to express this solution x belongs to minus infinity to minus 1. Here is the equality sign. I use this box bracket union. Again there is equality sign box bracket to infinity. Remember, infinity is not defined. We always use this open bracket or small bracket in the infinity case. For more, in the next video, we'll discuss about more typical problems in duality. Thanks for now. Thank you.